Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia. So in my previous video, my room tour video, I got asked about this little secret room that I have next to my bed and I thought I would show you guys because I think it's pretty cool and I really love this space. So I thought I'd just give you a bit of a tour. I will explain and talk about where I got all my decor from again, just because I know that it's quite a commonly asked question. So hopefully this will help you out. And yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so to enter this room, you kind of just crawl through, like, over my bed. As you can see, my room is back there. You crawl into this space. And I don't really know what to label this space. I kind of just call it a secret room because it's hidden away and kind of secret. And no one really knows about it unless you've been in my room and I've shown you it. Uh, but I've converted it into a little reading book because I love reading and it's just a really nice place to be able to sit down, relax, chill out and read. Uh, but I will start with kind of the boring side of the room. As you walk in to the left, it's this area, which is kind of disgusting. I've got this old vintage mirror, which is absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at all the painting on it. I just think it's so pretty. Hello. Um, and like the frame and everything. And then behind it, I just have another collage wall, like in my room. And I have these two wire shelves. That is a really bright light. That's my light. So like, no light light we're leaving the light on for this video on the first shelf i have my handbags i have this random glass i think it had flowers in it at one point like a vase but you know anyways and then some of my favorite little teddy bears up there as well i think it's super cute that's kind of a nice looking shelf i'm not gonna lie moving down to this absolute tragedy i just have like random shoe boxes and packages and whatever and then just random crap that i don't know where to put it this is why it's weird. I want to get a curtain to kind of hide it so no one sees it, but it's great for extra storage. This little guy here used to be my bedside table, and I didn't know if I wanted to keep it, so it's kind of just chilling back there. We're ignoring this. From this little bump to there is kind of just like a space. It. Anyways, moving on. Then we have the pretty side of the room that I am in love with, and I actually spent a lot of time in here. I think it's really cool, so... I'm gonna go much more into depth there because that that area is just a little bit concerning, a little bit not interesting. So kind of the main feature of this side is my massive page wall. As you can see, it's all just old book pages from a book that I thrifted. They're this really nice kind of old worn tinge and I just think it's so pretty. This wall though, because it starts here and it goes all the way down there, took me forever. It took me probably like all up eight hours which sounds like a lot but like ripping the pages out of the book and then blue tacking it individually and sticking them up took so long but in my opinion it was really worth it because it looks gorgeous it makes the room feel so cozy and so unique and I just really love it also on this wall I just hung some fairy lights that I got from Kmart for about ten dollars the fairy lights are great lighting to read in when this main light is off I'll show you Fairy lights light up the room really nicely and I find that it's a really nice level of light to kind of read in so I really love those and much like my room like in here I have vines hanging from my roof in here I have flower garlands hanging so I got these from just a random $2 shop in bulk I got all of the flowers for about $15 but I've just pinned them to the roof with these sewing pins they kind of go through the leaf and then into the roof and that's how I hung up the leaves and the vines in here as well but they have never fallen down with this method this little flower pot that's also hanging from the roof is again hung with just like a pin I feel like this is really like cheaply done but it hangs really nicely and the actual basket it's in is from Kmart it was like two dollars it was so cheap and then the kind of macrame holder was from just the same $2 shop I got these vines from. And the fake flowers that I have hanging in them are also from Kmart, but I got them quite a few years ago, so I don't know if they sell them anymore. But you can kind of find fake roses, fake flowers like this anywhere. Moving along, I have this kind of weird box, and I have no idea why it's there, but I just put my rural poster that is framed that I got from the Rural Free Time Tour back in 2019. Um, and I framed it and I just sat it there. I think it's so cool I didn't want to put any more holes in the wall to kind of hang it up And I think it just sits nicely on top of that But yeah, that's where that's from and then I have my kind of just sitting area So it has this blanket that used to be on my bed, but I don't use it anymore So that's there. It's nice to rug up in and then this pillow this pink fluffy pillow 
This one's from Kmart. I got it again quite a few years ago, but I think they still might sell it. I'm not too sure though. Then I also had these sequin pillows, which were like all the rage a few years back. And I didn't want to throw them out because that seems wasteful. So they're sitting in here as well. Extra comfort, extra cushioning. These two massive pillows, um, I made. So I made these two. <laughs> um, I got some material from my cousin and I just cut them up and then with my sewing machine sewed it into a pillowcase and filled it up with the stuffing from old pillows so now they're new and they're nice and fluffy and they fit the vibe heaps better and I just think it's cool that I could make something like this and it didn't cost me really anything and then this last pillow back here I also made same way I made these two but yeah that's where all the pillows are from they're either from Kmart or I DIY'd them myself but they're both pretty affordable options because I was working on a budget when I was making this room. Trust me, I had no money. I just wanted to reuse as much decor and as much materials and pieces that I had before going out and buying more because I wanted to use them instead of wasting them. And it really helped with the budget I had because I was working off literally like $50. So this whole wall, the page wall, cost me about $2 to get a book from the thrift store that would have otherwise been thrown out and to hang them up with some blue tack that I had lying around. So I love that. So working on a budget can look great if you kind of think strategically. On the two shelves I have on this side of the room, down the bottom, I just have some of my art pieces lining up the back. I went through a stage where I really loved painting on glass and I didn't have anywhere to hang them in my room in this new house. So I kind of just sat them here and I really love them in here. It's kind of like a private thing for me. But you can see that this, this one over here has a massive crack in it. And I'm really sad because this is one of my favorite paintings ever. But if you don't look too close, you can't really tell. So it's literally fine. No one has to know except me. No one ever comes in here except me. So I don't know why I'm mentioning that. Then I just have some books scattered around to kind of emphasize. It's a reading nook. I want to have books available for me to read. So I have all the hardcovers of the Pretty Little Lies books. Um, I don't think they're all of them actually. I thrifted these for about $20 altogether, which was like a bargain. And they look really pretty without the dust covers. And I just love them sitting there. They're kind of in like a rainbow order. And I had The Love Hypothesis, which I absolutely adored. Love this book. And Honeybee by Craig Sylvie, which my mum read and she recommended to me. So I'm excited to eventually read that. And of course, I have the original Minecraft handbooks. I didn't know where to put them, so I put them in here. But look at them. Does that not scream nostalgia? I'm so glad I kept these. I love these books, they just remind me so much of my childhood. But yeah, that's pretty much the bottom shelf done. Moving up to my top shelf. So this is where I have all my different Funko Pops. I have my Shawn Mendes one, Beverly Marsh, Stanley Uris, Mike Hanlon, The Pennywises, Aurora, Eleven, Susie, and Mike. And then I have these flowers that I put in here. I thrifted these again for like $2 and I thought they were just so pretty and so adorable. But they're just up there for decoration to make the space look more cohesive with the rest of the room and just really pretty. I think the flowers are gorgeous. I love them. It makes the whole shelf look pretty. But yeah, so that's the shelves. Love them again. And then finally, I have my LED strip lights that run all the way down the room. These strip lights were in my old room and I didn't think they fit the vibe of my new room at this house so I hung them in here for some extra lighting because I didn't have the heart to get rid of them they're great lights except for like a few faults in them but otherwise they're great and I felt like throwing them out was so wasteful so I just hung them in here and again another great source of lighting but yeah that's pretty much the entire room explained if I missed anything feel free to leave a comment and I will explain either where I got it from or how I made it and yeah, let me know of any video ideas that you have or you would like to see from me and I hope to see you next time. Bye!